welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, you guys will be getting this review today. Um, thankfully, there's no Love Island USA tomorrow because I still am um, feeling like crap. Guys, honestly, I was ready to go to work this morning, put on half this beat, and then literally my belly was like, no, <laughs> you're staying at home. But thankfully, I feel a lot better now, so I've been able to work the rest of the day. But anyways, this video is not about that. So before I get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know, we're to 30K. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna squeeze two episodes in one. Let's see if we could do it under 30 minutes. Go. So Cordell and Serena are having conversations, and honestly, their little dance routine that they were doing, I love it. Honestly, I find it's so annoying because I think if she had picked him from day one, they would have been locked in. I think they would have been such, you know, like, like those couples that they have so much fun together and they're really friends in real life. They have loads of things in common. This is just not an attraction thing. They actually have chemistry, like deeper chemistry. I saw that for them too, but what has happened happened. So yeah, that was all, that was all cute. She said she likes him. And I think that was maybe one of the first times where she really like said it and like meant it probably. And then he said it back. And then she was saying that she said it to him because she wants to reassure him. So this is her definitely thinking more about his feelings, taking it into account. I really wanted to act on it and try to be what he is to her. So I was like, that's really, really cute. And then they kissed and this kiss wasn't a game kiss. It wasn't rushed. It wasn't, it was like, it was like a nice kiss. Good for them. And they were also kissing in bed. So I'm like, okay, so they're reaching new levels. It seems like the noise is away and now they're just focused on each other. And I was like, okay, so now Serena's doing what I've been wanting her to do with Cordell from day one. So I was like, okay, this is cute. I'm liking where this is going. The boys get a text and <clears throat> Casper Moore. So literally UK and US Casper Moore's at the same time. Now I've got to learn what? 24 people's names god give me strength because that's a lot of people to be talking about that's a lot of people but anyways love island usa always doing something interesting always putting a twist on something they said that the guys can either pick to go to castle Mall or to stay giving them options but of course all of them decided to go not like literally naturally they all decided to go fair enough and but it was funny the boys were having conversations about it and it, it was funny because it was mainly like um mainly cordell sorry mainly cordell kendall kendall his name kendall sorry the not me saying kendall kendall sorry <laughs> cordell kendall say cordell Ken. I'm actually putting the stress on the wrong thing. Now I can't say this man's name anymore. And Aaron, them three were reminding themselves that we're very much so not closed off. We want challenges. We want to be tested. You know what? Let's all go. And the way they were all chanting Castro and Moore in the, in the confessional room, yeah, all them men were ready to go to Castro and Moore. Them men were all excited. And then Ariana comes in looking beautiful as ever, as ever. And she tells the girls that the boys went to Casa and that there was a choice and all of them decided to leave. Of course, it's peak for um, Kayla because she and, well, she said this morning that she feels like she's falling in love with Aaron. And of course, he's more than happy to go to Casa Amor and he's screaming and, you know what I mean? Honestly, he's salivating at the mouth. It's okay. The boys are agreeing that it would be a disservice to themselves if they didn't go and taste and see what was at Casa. If they didn't go give these girls a chance, they deserve this. It would be a, such a disservice for like for the, to the girls as well. Like imagine if we were all closed off. Like what would that mean for the Casa? Like we're actually doing them a disservice. Them boys need to go where in the bin because if you want to do what you want to do, just say you want to do what you want to do instead of saying it would be a disservice. Like, I don't think it's come down to the degree of being a disservice or being described in such a manner, but okay. These men just want to have the whole experience and that's just that. But now, the Casa Amor girls come through. Guys, them Casa Amor girls, I feel like all of them are, are actually really pretty. Like, I think all of them. Destiny comes in, she's the, I think, believe the Filipino one. Sierra comes in, she's the really fair-skinned black I, mean, I would say I would like to. She's I have a black or mixed race. Um, Sydney comes in. I can't remember anything about Sydney for for like maybe she was the blonde one. Catherine, she was really cute. Um, Dia, that was the black girl that was a baddie. And Daniela, that's the one from Puerto Rico. And of course, every single time she says her name, she put an act on it. So we love that. So then the boys see them and they're screaming and they know what time it is off rip Kenny says he likes Destiny and that Daniela Aaron says he likes the same and then Cordell says D that girl Dia 
yeah, I got my eye on her. So then, and also Miguel, Miguel just wants any and everything. Miguel is so excited. He said he's a kid in a candy store. Like Miguel is living his best dreams right now in this castle and more. Like he was saying the girls in the villa are cute, but these girls right here were made for like, he was like bringing it. Like they were like, okay, what's you guys type? Oh yeah, here's six girls that fit that. Like he's so gassed. He's so ready. Oh yeah, he's so ready. So then the castle and more boys come in. They're all right. I'm not, they're, they're, I'm not gonna scream about them the same way I screamed about the girls, but they're all right. So we have Jacoby, he's the black one. Kane, who's the UK, British one. Ignacio, he's from Argentina. Daylon, I think he's the other. Daylon, who the hell is Daylon? I oh, know, is his name Jalen? Oh, there's one other guy. I wanna say he's like, Asian maybe? Or like Latin, you know like those people that look either Asian, I don't know, something like that. Um, who else was there? Josiah, he was like, I feel like he's like spanish -y as well. And then we have George. I don't even know who George is, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I can't even tell, I couldn't even tell you who George was. But anyways, it was funny because when they came down, everyone's talking about star signs. I'm like, can we rest on this issue? Can we rest on this issue? Because God forbid, some people, because we have we share the same stars and we're alike. God forbid, because if that was the case, I would actually be very, very scared about some people that fall within my star sign. Anyways, then we see Aaron and Daniela having a conversation and they're vibing. Of course, she speaks Spanish. She's from Puerto Rico. He grew up, I think, in Andalusia, which is in Spain. Is it, is it in Spain? Yes, it is. Or is it off? It's just not off Spain, but it's like a part of the Spanish region. And they're getting on. They're speaking Spanish. You know what I mean? Of course, that's nice that he can actually speak Spanish because he also doesn't look like he could speak Spanish, but he does. And I love that. They definitely have a lot of things in common. I think they re they really, really get in along. And Aaron, he's actually just a lover boy because why is he already saying to the girl he loves her? I know he's joking, but that man knows how to love bomb strongly and he's just all over the place. Like, it lets me know that man's very, like his level of mature, maturity is quite low because now you're, now you're doing too much. You were with Kayla for all the three weeks consistently and then now you're already saying on day one in first conversation with somebody, I love you. You're doing a lot. You're doing the absolute most. And Aaron needs to go where? In the bin. Because yeah, this ain't gonna end well. For me to think that these people were locked in, and I feel like I said they were locked in as well. For him to do this, he's embarrassing me. He's actually embarrassing me. They, uh, Dia and Cordell are having a conversation and they're already holding hands. I'm like, oh, hang on, what, what have I missed guys? Because how are y'all even on this le level of holding hands? But then she was like, you need someone that's gonna match your energy, someone that's gonna show you what, like, how much they like you, someone that's gonna be here for you. And I'm not gonna lie, that's all true, but Serena's now got to that point, but was it a little bit too late? Mm, it might have been. Um, Janae and Josiah having a conversation, and Josiah, I'm not gonna lie, he, um, if I put this conversation to the side, I kind of feel like I like him. But I need to still listen to the conversation and I still need to, you know what I mean? We still need to make note of it. She said something like, why are you single? He was like, oh, because I was in a relationship with two girls. I was like, what the hell does that mean? He was in a, when he said I was in a relationship with two girls, I was like, oh, so he was polygamous. Oh, how interesting. Okay, okay, let's hear what he's about to say. Guys, that wasn't the case. That man never said he was, that man never said he was polygamous. That man said... He was cheating, but the way in which he dressed it up made it seem like he had two women and they were in an open relationship or something. And Josiah needs to go, where? In the bin, because the verbiage was important. And thankfully, Janae asked more questions and tried to figure out what he was talking about because it wasn't making any sense. You're a cheater, say that, yeah? No, 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 put lipstick on a cow now, on a pig. You were cheating. Let's call a spade a spade, okay? Massive red flag that not only did he cheat, but he's not even calling it cheating so he can save himself or save his conscience. No, no, no. We want someone to take what? Accountability. So then both villains are playing a game of spin the bottle. I'm not going to get into everything. Just little things that I wrote down. I wrote an Aaron didn't hold back. How was he kissing, I believe, Sydney, the blonde one, and he's gripped in up neck? For a first kiss, guys. For the first time you're kissing man or kissing gal, and we're doing up neck. That's a serious business. We're doing up... We're doing... Guys, that's quite serious. I'm not gonna lie, that's a, that's a serious business. That's quite crazy. Serena, I don't even know where this, where this kiss came from, but she literally straddled um, Kane, and then, yeah, they went out, which I was like, okay, ooh. 
Like, I feel like it's so crazy because what they do in the UK, they do it in the US times 50. Like, UK, the US will always double what, they, like, okay, like, I was like, there's a lot going on. How did um, Josiah have to suck someone's finger, suck Jan Jan um, Janae's finger, and then she made a joke that he sucked off her fingernail, <laughs> but of course she was joking. Because I literally wrote it down, like, oh my gosh, this man sucked off her press on. But no, that wasn't the case, but that was a really funny joke. Cordell and, um, D is it, D what's her name? Dia? Is it Dia? 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 Dia, I think her name is. They kissed, that, uh, that kiss was crazy. That kiss was, I think she straddled him first, then he picked her up. Had, had, had a cheek in each hand, guys. Cordell was even his best life in that kiss. I'm not even gonna, like, the way he was grabbing Yash. I'm even surprised he could still hold over and hold her out. I'm not gonna lie, he was stronger than what I thought. But again, he's doing a lot because Serena has just opened up to you, but you're enjoying yourself a lot. You're enjoying yourself a lot. I almost wanna say it's within a game for him for a second, because don't get me wrong, he gonna go, he gonna go in the bin in this episode, in this in this review. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I'm ready to put him in just yet. Considering Serena did a, a similar type of kiss, let me leave him. Serena and Kayla at the end of the evening, they're really upset. They're they're missing it. My man, my man, my man. Um, meanwhile, Cordell is kissing Daya outside of a challenge of a challenge that wasn't in the script guys i don't believe that was in the script you could kiss in challenges but you're kissing outside of challenges what's going on we didn't we didn't, we didn't agree to that cordell and cordell needs to go where in the bin because not night one night what can we at least not take a bit can we not at least pretend for a second take time and he keeps on bringing up how he misses serena but you're not acting that way you're not behaving in that way. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not doing it accordingly. Like even the way it was done. Oh yeah. Like my lips are dry already. Let me find you some chapstick or oh, some like chapstick or Vaseline or whatever. And she was like, well, I've got this lip gloss on. Like you, you don't have to put it on yourself. So it doesn't look girly. Yes. I could just kiss you. And then come and see the setup guys. I'm not saying that that's how he intentionally walked into it, but come and see the setup for the kiss. That was crazy guys. That was actually crazy. Wow. This girl is talking about, she misses him and stuff like that. You're kissing girl outside of a challenge on night one, on day one. It's crazy, guys. And then look at Aaron and Daniela, all cozied up in, on, on the day bed, cozied up. And I know he's fighting for his, he was fighting for his life, not trying to kiss her. So I'm not gonna give him no brownie points because he didn't, but he was fighting for, guys, that fight that he, that internal fight that he was fighting, I'm surprised he even won it that evening because I thought he was gonna let loose. I actually did. I did, actually did. So now, guys, we're in a new episode. I can't remember what numbers this, these are, but we're in a new episode. Ignacio, I don't understand why he said his Spanish is bad because he's, um, not Spanish, his English is bad. His English is perfectly fine because not only is it perfectly fine, he was able to pick up on banter because uh, Leah did this to him, almost like, cool, bro. And then he was like, oh, don't do that to me. That's like when you touched Connor's nose. And the way they were laughing because they both clocked what he was saying, it was funny, it was hilarious. And that's the thing is, I think that's super important and why I always get scared to date somebody that's not from where I'm from. Um, like, and it's not even just like, not even, I'm not even gonna say you talk about race, I'm even talking about if you're from London or like if you, can, can you understand my banter? And I think even though he, he's like, English doesn't seem to be his first language, he, he got the banter. And for me, that's something that is difficult to translate, banter, but he's got it. So Ignacio, don't put yourself down. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Aaron, um, is saying that he doesn't need to be tested and he already knows he likes Kayla a lot. So that means anything he does going forward is just straight greed. So if can remember these people like, oh, I, like, I want to be tested. I want to see if I like this person or not, or if, if, you know I mean, if our connection will stand the test of time, you've already admitted that you don't need this test and you already like Kayla. So you're just here to be greedy. You're, you're just here to, for pure greed and gluttony. All right. Now, Miguel, he's going on like he's in love with Sierra. He said, honestly, what I thought to be the Mona Lisa for me is what Sierra is. I was like, oh, that's a big compliment. Now, I don't know if he's waffling or not, but nonetheless, that's still a really big compliment for you to... Now, is the Mona Lisa that cute? No, but let's just... We know what he's talking like. Back in the day, that was considered what the height of beauty was. So, that was a big boy comment. I was like, okay, but yeah, he, Miguel is living... He's loving life. And I'll never drag him because... 
him and Leah, like, that's a relationship from, of convenience. Like, let's be so serious. Leah is here stressing, talk about, um, you know, when she misses him. But Leah and everyone, all of us know is that Miguel is for what? The streets. So let's, let, let's really get our head in the game because Miguel is not worried about you. That man is no more worried. I don't even know if he's mentioned her name one time. Then the guys are here gassing up Cordell. Um, when he comes down and says that he kisses Dia or Dea, is it Dia? I'm gonna say Dea because of the spelling Dea. And he seems like, like he, he almost seems like he regrets it a little bit, but apparently not enough with the way the episode continues to go. go. And for some reason, why is this man still cold that Kendall had to give him his, his jacket? Like, not the man's giving you his jacket. That was too funny. Kayla and Serena are sleeping outside. Meanwhile, that man is cuddled up, warm, cuddled up, snuggled. Now nah, they didn't do none of that, but comfortable, cuddling indoors. Don't need to worry about no mosquito bites. Meanwhile, those two girls are sleeping outside. Mm, it's a lot. Now in the morning, if I'm not mistaken, Daniela said that Aaron tried to smash on night one. How are you trying to? Which makes me now think: Did him and Kayla smash? Not that I need to know because that's not my business, but how are you trying to smash a castle more girl on night one? You ain't even kissed her and you're trying to enter the tuntun. Guys, it's not making sense. And Aaron needs to go where? In the bin. Because that's some dog, that's some dog A-ish, yeah? Dog A-ish. Because that's, that's too much. That's, that's too much. That's too much. That's too, that's, too, that's a lot. That's a, there's a lot going on. And I feel like the sexuality in the U.S., it's different like it's so it's so different like people are outside and i'm not saying it's a bad thing but people are, are outside crazy people behavior let me still let me say aaron the u.s i like aaron's not english but anyways he, he's in love island usa so i'm adding it in i'm sorry i'm he's with y'all guys sorry Serena is here crying later she was laying on the floor crying talk about how she don't want to look stupid because I think her spirits, her spidey senses, her gut is telling her that Kendall's going to, I mean, Cordell's going to be up to some F-ish. Um, is her gut wrong? No. <laughs> I hate this for Serena. And of course, it took her, what, all of three weeks to get to this point. So it's just a shame that she got to this point. Has to happen and Cordell is very much so open. Then Cordell and Dea are having a conversation and then he kisses her in broad daylight. In broad, guys, there was no Dutch courage, no games. There's, you know, there's no excuse for this. In broad daylight, these people are kissing by the poor. And Cordell needs to go where? In the bin, because he better stand 10 toes on this type of, what he's doing right now, stand 10 toes. In, for me, there's just something about kissing outside of a challenge. Again, this is just the beginning of day two. These girls ain't even been here maybe just about 24 hours. And you kissed her twice outside of challenge. And then you, you have the, then you have the audacity to say out of the, out of the left side of your mouth, oh, you miss Serena and you think about Serena. But it's the right side of your mouth that's kissing they, they are right? Oh, okay. Mind you, the guys are all watching. So happy for him. So over the moon for him. And I'm like, honestly, uh, dogs are dogs. And these men is dogs. Ken, Kendall is um, saying that he... Is definitely seems to be more focused on Nicole. He said he's not interested in Catherine, but then he was speaking to Sierra and he may potentially see something with her. I think I don't I don't see anything between them two, but that's what he said. And it's interesting that he did mention that he had a glow up because I did think he had a glow up because he doesn't act like someone that was good looking their whole life. Sorry, he doesn't act that way. So big up the glow up. He said he was like five one ninety six one. Big up himself. Love that for him. When he said he was black, I was like, oh, is he? Like, I mean, like, fully, I was like, oh, is he? But he's just probably just Afro-Latino. Is That's probably what it is. He, um, he did, I think, ain't he the one that said he was from... I feel like he's from... Is he from a Spanish-speaking... You know, I don't even know where this man is from. Let me not say he's from a Spanish-speaking country, but I assume he has to be from a Spanish-speaking country because he doesn't look like me. Not that I'm the threshold for blackness, but... Even like his hair texture and stuff like that, like his features. And, so he, you know me, I'm not saying he's not, not black. I'm just saying he definitely has something else in him. Well, yeah, love that for him. Okay, big up um, Kendall. Nicole 
says she only wants friendship with Kane. So she locked that one off and she said she's basically only focused on Kendall. So her cousin more experience is pretty much done. She's gonna, you know, she's gonna talk to people, but it seems to be that Kendall is gonna be the one. Again, I actually think Kendall's also gonna come back single. Um, so I think them two are gonna still be fine. And this is what I'm saying. Stay with Kendall, because Kendall gonna do what he needs to do. He gonna fix up, he gonna, he gonna act right. You see, that's why Miguel is way too, not that, you know, if they were coupled up for a week, that means anything, but Miguel is more than happy to get involved in stuff. Like, he'll get involved with any and everybody. Then Aaron and Daniela are having conversations. This is when I knew it was serious, guys. Why is he rubbing her foot? You've known this girl 24 hours and you're rubbing her foot. Do you know how crazy that is, guys, to be rubbing, like, to be rubbing her foot, guys. And Aaron needs to go where? In the bin. That's crazy, guys. Think to yourself, how many people's feet have I touched? I'm not, if you're a nail tech or something like that, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about people on a regular, regular basis. How many times have you touched a random, like, somebody, no, no, not a random person, but somebody else that ain't you, your, somebody's foot? How often? Because foot is something, I don't really play like that. I ain't touched, have I ever touched anybody's foot other than mine? I don't even think, I don't even know if I have. So, that's a big deal. Then he was saying in Spanish, as if we're not going to bring up the translation. Arab, behave yourself, yeah? Actually behave yourself. He's saying that he wants to kiss her in Spanish, and of course, thankfully, they translate. Then he basically was like, F it got his hat, turned it back so he can have room. And then him and her start kissing him again in broad daylight, guys. <laughs> I would put him in the bin, but I just did it 30 seconds ago, so let me just leave him. But in, in the broadest of daylight, no challenge, no excuse, no Dutch car. Again, when these men come back, you better explain it how it happened. Don't hide, don't hide, don't hide. Stand on big boy business, okay? I've said it. Now, Kendall and Miguel, I don't know if US Love Island have movie night. Again, like I told you guys, I've never watched any from beginning to end. If they do have a movie night, them two gonna be in it because those two are so happy that both Cordell and Aaron are moving man. Mind you, they probably uh, have really good relationships with Serena and Kayla, but they don't care. Their man's having fun. So then they get a text and they're doing watching races. Now, did I think the UK was bad? Mm, they were, like, you know what I mean? They were. The raunchy races in the US, guys, I'm too young for this. Like, they really put the R in raunchy. I was like, what am I actually watching? It was, a, guys, I'm not even gonna lie. Them over, yeah, them man over there, yeah, they're on, some, they're on something different. Some, 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 sex position. Daya has her legs in the air, down there over her, over her shoulders. And then Cordell was, that was, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay, that was a lot. Then people are kissing up against the shower, on the, on, on the counter. I was like, Guys, a lot was going on. A lot was going on, and I wasn't ready for all that was going on. Then the last one, everybody in the island, every islander, pick somebody to kiss and kiss like this is the last kiss of your life. Sierra was holding up the holding up the uh, the, the uh, a column. People were guys, uh, guys. That was giving me all GTS. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. That was I know people had their clothes on, but it was giving me all GTS. I said. Guys, that, that, that game was that game was a lot. That game was a lot. Anyways, the episode ends off with Kayla crying. Um, meanwhile, wait, has Aaron kissed? Yeah, meanwhile, Aaron is casually kissing Daniela. Already, they're already at the stage where they're doing. Mwah, mwah. They're already, they're already, they're already, they're already at that stage. Casually just talking and kissing regularly. And Kayla's here crying. Oh, these cats are more victims. Eh, these cats are more victims. Why does it look like? Cordell and Daya in the next episode are gonna be smashing. Now I could have, I, 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 he, somebody was on top of somebody. But we gonna see, but again, like I said, they put the R in Wunchy, so should I be surprised? <laughs> no. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.